Hi, my name's Eleanor Bell. I'm an architectural lighting designer, a light artist, and a qualified electrician. And this is Lightbulb Moments. In this video, I'm talking about bathroom lighting and specifically the technical aspects of bathroom lighting when choosing light fittings. I do have another video on bathroom lighting design and just click on the link below to see that one. So when choosing your light fittings, there are three things to think about. Firstly, the zone of the bathroom it's in. Secondly, the IP rating, the ingress protection rating. And thirdly, it's best to get everything fitted by a fully qualified electrician. The zones are laid out in the latest edition of the wiring regulations. This is the 18th edition, it's 2020. So if it's any later than that, just check with your electrician if anything's changed. And they um, show that there are three zones and an area outside the zones. The first zone is zone zero, which is inside the tre shower tray and inside the bath. The second zone is zone one, which is um, above the shower or the bath to a height of 2.25 meters. And then the zone two is outside the bath or shower, extending outwards uh, 0.6 meters, 600 mil, again to a height of 2.25 meters. And then everything around that is considered outside the zones. Next is the IP rating, and this stands for ingress protection. And you'll see this code on a lot of products, uh, something like IP44. And the first number stands for the degree of protection against solid objects, and the second number for the degree of protection against water, which is really the one we're interested in here, because as we know, water and electricity do not mix. So for example, a product which is IP44, um, that means the four is it's protected against objects which are less than one millimeter big. And the four for the water ingress protection is protection from splashing all around in any direction. So if you go back to the zone you're in, the wiring regs give direct recommendations. In zone zero, so that's in the shower tray or in the bath, uh, so this won't really apply unless you've, say, got a spa bath or something, you've got lighting in a spa bath, the light fittings need to be IPX7, which is seven is able to be immersed in up to one metre of water. In zones one and two, so that's the areas above the bath and the shower and around the bath and the shower, uh, the light fittings need to be IPX4, so that's uh, protected from spray from all directions. However, there is a note here, and this is important, that if the electrical equipment is exposed to water jets, e.g. for cleaning purposes, it needs to have a degree of protection of at least IPX5. Um, so if you've got a shower with a detachable hose and you can spray it around, um, it would be better to have IPX5 rated light fittings. The final area is outside the zones, where in fact there's no recommendation for IP rating. But personally, I would stick to IP44 outside all of the zones. And I also recommend getting a properly qualified electrician if you're changing any bathroom light fittings, because everything needs to be RCD protected and you do need that extra degree of safety when dealing with bathroom, bathroom electrics. Okay, that's everything. So do check out my video on bathroom lighting design if you're thinking what you want to choose for your bathroom. And um, there are more links to other videos below. And that's it for this week. Thank you very much.